Hello my friends, welcome to another video. I'm Rachel Archelaus and I spent a couple years heavily traveling in and partially living in a small class B camper and then finally a converted minivan. And I want to tell you about 10 perks I found about choosing the no build minivan camper van. So let's just get into it. The first one is super random. This might never apply to you, but the number one reason why I'm so happy I had a no build minivan camper van is because I just fit a cattle panel inside of it. Now, if you're unfamiliar, cattle panels are 16 feet long. They are about four and a half feet tall and they're used like on farms as a fence, but a lot of people put them in their backyards as uh, trellises that you can walk under because they're so big. I have always wanted this kind of trellis and I am a very <laughs> hardcore, like urban gardener, urban farmer. I've always been like that, but I, this is just like a status symbol I never thought I would achieve. And finally, it is here. I didn't have to strap it to the top. I sandwiched it and then put it right in there and it did take two people. I might have been able to do it by myself, but I'm really glad I had someone else there to help me smush it through. And let me tell you, it was worth it. I don't even have it installed in my garden yet, but I just, I've reached a new level. I'm very excited about it. So that is the perk number one. You can fit a cattle panel into the back of a minivan if you've taken the seats out to build your no build version. And that is what I do. My vehicle sometimes has my bed set up, sometimes has the whole thing. And then sometimes I can take it all out in less than five minutes because it's so easy to disassemble. Number two, it's easy and perfect if you have a delivery service side gig. So I don't know why I started doing this, but a couple of years ago, for a few months, I decided to be a shipped person. You know, somebody who goes and buys your groceries for you and then brings them to your house. And some people had really large orders with really large things. And I know they've since added stores like Costco and other big box stores that like sell in bulk. And so you have to have a big space in order to work for these companies. And my minivan, was perfect because I didn't have seats and I could easily take down my bed. Although I never even had to do that. So just the fact that it was more like a cargo van in there, but with the gas mileage of a minivan, it was perfect for delivery services. So if you have a side gig, which by the way is great for van life because you can do it anywhere, you just sign up in the app. And then if you're changing locations, you can change that in the app. So really great in terms of getting some extra money uh, and being flexible and also using the equipment that you already have. Number three, you can adapt it to fit more people. So if I were to go camping with my boyfriend, I would take everything out that's in there, my cot, my single, you know, little slice of heaven, and just put in a full mattress. Like I would get one of those blow up ones and put it there and it would take up almost the whole space. But I could do that because I've not bolted anything into the ground or into the walls. And so it would be such an easy fix if I wanted to bring him along. And then I can keep my design and just modify it for when I have somebody else coming. Um, because there's no way that two of us could fit on that little cot and nor would we want to in a camping situation. So super easy to add more people along. Number four, you can fit massive sports gear in there. So on a daily basis in the winter, I have my ski gear in there, which doesn't take up a lot of room, but I have fit a 10 foot kayak in this minivan. I transported it from backcountry where I bought it to my house but I also drove it all the way across my state down to Lake Powell. So it's true that I can't sleep in my minivan camper van when my boat is in there, but I can fit a boat inside of my camper van and that is really cool. So I am a short woman. It would be very difficult for me to get this on top of my vehicle and I really didn't want to buy 
a trailer and haul an extra 10 feet behind me, you know, it just really limits where you can go and how comfortable I would be driving on the highway, especially through the mountains where I like to go. So the fact that I can fit this boat inside of my camper van is incredible. And all I have to do is just put the cot down on the ground. I don't even have to take anything out. So if you are looking for a solution, you want a bigger boat or you want to just take a vacation and fit some really big stuff in there, then go for it. You know, once you're set up camping, you can always put that on the outside of your vehicle. So you can even chain it up if you're worried about that, um, have a way to secure it at your campsite, but you can transport it and then stay in your vehicle like you intended. So super amazing to not have anything built out in there limiting the amount of space you have. Number five, right in the middle, you, if you keep your seats, you can put them back in and sell the vehicle, right? You can sell it and maintain that initial Kelly Blue Book value that a lot of these really wonderful camper van, well, minivans can have. You know, I bought a Honda Odyssey and those things maintain their value. I could probably sell it right now in this market for more than I paid for it several years ago. So if you keep your seats, I did not. I decided to sell my seats because I knew this would just be a forever vehicle for me, which it is. So I decided not to do this, but you could go this route, keep your seats, store them in a basement, in a garage. You can have, if you have a storage unit, you can ask a friend. And that way you have a flexibility. If this is your third vehicle or an extra perk that you have and you decide, eh, like a boat, I don't really need that anymore. It's probably going to be easier to sell it as an actual minivan than as a camper. Though who knows because the camper van market is crazy too. So anyway, just wanted to mention this, like it is an easy sell if you decide that you want to do that. I would say in most cases, a no build minivan camper is going to weigh less than one with all of this bulky wooden furniture in it. So you get better gas mileage. I definitely can feel the difference when my minivan is like bursting with cargo than when it's just set up as my camper van. Um, it's really amazing. It doesn't take that much to fit into it. Maybe like a, you know, a week's worth of groceries even, and I can feel the difference. So you don't, you don't have the seats, you don't have the heavy furniture, you're going to get better gas mileage, which means your trips are less expensive than if you decided to put in the heavier and maybe nicer looking furniture. Though I love the openness that the no build designs have. This can also be the less expensive way to go. I know for me, I went a little bit more in because I added solar and I had that big solar generator, which I actually was able to sell, which was wonderful because I don't need it. But you can do this for cheap. You can buy used equipment. There's plenty of ways to buy a used cot. You could probably even go to Goodwill Salvation Army, anything like that. You can buy most of this stuff on Amazon. I'll leave my list below. It not only saves you in labor cost, which could even just be your time, but I feel like there's not that much that goes into it if you don't make it yourself. Like you don't have to buy the lumber, the hardware. You don't have to pay someone to make things for you if that's where you're going. Some people buy Ikea furniture to put in there, but even that's probably more expensive than just outfitting your stuff with like container store and uh, a Coleman cot, you know? And again, I really like the flexibility of it. So there's so many perks, but being less expensive is usually a really big one because you're already buying a vehicle that's probably holding its value really well, like we talked about. And so the cheaper you can get into this and have it be functional, the better. And nine, it's easier to accomplish because you don't have to build anything, right? So if you don't have that builder gene, like I definitely don't, I, I had to even add some supports to my floating shelves because they were wobbly, <laughs> but 
If you don't have that builder gene, it can be so intimidating to think you have to build your own bed platform or sink or whatever it is that you see on Instagram that people have in their camper vans. But it's just not true. You can absolutely have a totally functional, comfortable design that looks good without building anything. And it is easier, much faster to get into. I mean, even if you are going to ask someone to do it for you, so you're not really worried about that, it's still going to take longer. So I would say no build is the way to go to even get used to the idea of staying in your minivan. Maybe you're not sure this is really the route for you. I would go no build first, see how you like it, see what you're missing. For me, I realized I really miss having a sink. And so I decided after about a year to to get some water storage like that was substantial <laughs> substantial so that I could do all the things that I really wanted to do inside of my van. So you get to know your own little system, you get to know what you want, and you can always add that in the future. But I think starting light is always the way to go. And 10 kind of summarizes everything. This is a great way to get started without committing a lot of time, money, and a whole vehicle, right? If you're not bolting anything into your vehicle, you're not really committing to this van life thing. And you're not saying this vehicle is only for one purpose. I just said one of the greatest perks that I find is that I get to take everything out and use it as like a farm vehicle. You know, I can put whatever I want in there. We've put huge plants for the garden, uh, a cattle panel, a boat. I get to use it for whatever I want. And that is huge. So I'm not committing to any one thing and really like deciding that all of that time that I invested in it is only for one purpose. I think it's really smart to keep things flexible, be able to sell it in the future or just change your mind about how you want to use it or pass it on to one of your children. It's just, it's a nice feeling to know that you have options. So those are my 10 perks for having a no build minivan camper van. I hope you enjoyed them. If you have any of your own that you want to share, please do so below. I look forward to reading them and uh, come back, subscribe so that you can see my cattle panel installed when I finally have it in the garden. So thanks for watching. Super love. Bye for now.